Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to BWTN Sports in association with Round for Round Boxing, www.roundforroundboxing.com and Three Kings Boxing, www.threekingsboxing.com. Okay, this is Tyson Fury versus Francesca Pianetta, the way in. Tyson comes in weighing 215, 258 pounds, so uh, much better uh, in physical terms looking um impressive 258 pounds which is good you can see that he's put the work in tyson fury which is fantastic uh, but we knew he was putting the work in and we knew he was going to come in lighter than he did against safa safiri i've said before and i'll say it again this fight is tyson fury's comeback fight that fight beforehand was an exhibition this is a genuine comeback fight i think this is the fight he really should have come back to but of course need to lose the weight get his feel his way around the ring and it was a bit more of exhibition. This is a real fight with him and Pianetta, really in the sense that Pianetta is a bony fight heavyweight. Um, I think 6'4", six, 6'5", six, Pianetta. Um, and uh, he's uh, solid as well. He doesn't look like he's carrying any real fat around him. He, he looks in good shape as well. So the fight is on, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, initial thoughts. Well, Deontay Wilde was, was uh, ringside, or ringside, where he was... Um, while Tyson was weighing in. Uh, one great thing to see about Tyson, very cordial, very um, lots of shaking hands, lots of smiling, lots of uh, yeah, very, very business-like Tyson. Whereas in the corner, his father was kicking off with uh, Deontay Wilder. Well, whilst this is, whilst the fans are cheering him on, go on, go on, Fury, Fury. Well, that is great. And Tyson Fury is doing what he needs to do and thank goodness keeping himself out of any trouble um my concerns again is go back to uh, the fury camp in terms of J john fury absolutely blowing his lid or well, it seemed like he was blowing his lid but again i don't know if this is part of promoting the tyson fury versus deontay wilder fight or this is the genuine concerns of what deontay wilder is look there's no doubt the Furies know that Deontay Wilder is a fighting man, more so that he's come over from the US to the UK to see Mr. Fury. And of course, the fight is probably going to happen between November and December. So I'm sure John Fury is well aware of being his father and well aware of what, what uh, his son is going to get involved with next. This is not bare knuckle boxing. This is not a pub fight. This is professional boxing and uh, no matter about what you you know your, your lineage is as being knuckle fighter and, and and you know a lot of credit for that and you know you cannot disrespect their history in that and they they come from a fighting background so there's no doubt about that tyson's a fighting man his family are fighting men uh you know so we're not, not, not looking at that but from a professional boxing aspect deontay ward is the biggest puncher in the heavyweight division bar none um and that is imminent danger and john fury is a boxing man he knows he's not as savage as some people may think he is john fury is a very very smart man very in fact the whole or everyone involved with fury is involved in terms of analyzing and knowing boxing know what they see in deontay wilder the fans can knock deontay wilder all the way but they know what is in front of them they might know that Deontay Wilder might be the greatest boxer in the world. But pound for pound punching, they know exactly what they're dealing with. And so when you see John Fury behaving the way he was, you know, uh, he, uh, promoting his son, of course he would. But he also knows what his son is going to be getting involved with next. <laughs> Let this be known now that if this fight is signed, which I believe it is, if this fight is signed, sealed and delivered, and when Tyson Fury gets in the ring of with um with Deontay Wilder, which I'm sure Deontay Wilder will step through those ropes to promote the fight. I'm sure that's going to happen, and that will have the internet rocking once again with Fury and Wilder in the ring. They need to keep a close eye on Mr. John Fury, or whether his emotions will take over in a situation like this. Whether that was a bit of pantomime, whether that was real, I don't know. I've looked it over and over again. And uh, there were a lot of hand gestures and stuff, but Dion Tawada was very cool and very calm about the whole thing. And that sort of stuff coming out of the Fury camp is psychologically not good because every inch now 
Deontay Wilder is there. He's smelling it. He's seeing it. He can feel it. And so, therefore, when you're coming from abroad and you're looking at a camp, and when he saw when Ben Davidson was trying to hold John Fury back and John Fury just pushed him away like he didn't mean anything, that's a deeper insight into this camp, a deeper insight to this camp. I saw it from where I am watching it on video. So Deontay Wilder clocked all of that. Deontay Wilder also knows the history between, you know, Tyson Fury and Peter Fury. He knows that. He knows in terms of what Peter Fury did for Tyson Fury's career. He's aware of that because that fight was going to happen back then, if you remember. So he's well aware of those things as well. So just looking at that and looking at the way Ben Davis was almost, was almost pushed out of the way like he didn't matter when John Fury was seen red, you know, it just, it tells me a lot more about that camp. And despite Tyson being in very good shape, and you've got to give him credit for that, I'm not going to give him any more credit for getting into shape. He's a professional boxer. He needs to be in shape. And that's all I'll keep it as that, you know, great to see him back in the sport, but I'm not going to go over the top and say, well, Tyson's back in shape. He's lost all 28 stone. That was his own doing. He's a big man responsible for his own actions. But glad to see he's back in the ring and in shape. Now, the fact that he's in shape doesn't mean he's in fighting shape. Being in physical shape and being in fighting shape is a different matter altogether. And you don't get that by just getting in the gym. You get that by getting rounds under your belt. So he did four or five rounds against Safa Sifiri with nothing really coming back at him. Now he's in with a big, strong heavyweight that will have the physical strength to push him around the ring. And if Pianetta can stick around for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten rounds, you know, if Pianetta can be there still in the in the in the later stages of this fight and can start working Tyson to the body, then we're gonna see because he took off a lot of weight very quickly, Tyson Fury. So these are things that obviously are very much a concern for myself. You know, he looks good, but we've seen David Hay look good, you know, and of course. We saw the Tyson Fury against Klitschko. That's gone. I keep saying that. Now we have to know is whether this version of Tyson Fury, what it's, what he's got left, what he's got to offer the heavyweight division, how he looks against Pianetta, and then against Deontay Wilder. Because that's what people are going to see. People are going to see this fight against Pianetta. For me, this is the mark. Not the, the Safa Safiri fight now. You're only as good as your last fight. And this fight now is what um, I'm going to be looking at to see what Tyson, how he does. And of course, that will be live on BWT and Sports for live audio commentary. Don't miss it. So that's it, really, in terms of Fury and uh, Pianetta. Again, Fury comes in 258 pounds, good shape. Um, concerns for me, not Tyson Fury, but his father, John Fury. They'll need to control that. And they'll need to control that now and all through. If that, if there is real, if that's genuine and it's not pantomime stuff, they'll have to control that. They need cool, calm heads in that corner um, going into the Wilder fight. They need that because, believe me, Wilder's team don't care about Fury and and the, the, the bare knuckle. But they don't care about. They won't care about it. Particularly in America, they won't care about. It. They'll respect it. They won't care about it, and they'll have their own entourage and they'll be winding them up when they get to America to the maximum. So they need cool, calm heads. Good to see Tyson's got a calm, cool head about him. Very businesslike, smiling for the cameras and not really putting a foot out of place, which is great and, and fantastic to see from Tyson. It's just his father. He's going to have to keep uh, a, a close eye on. Um, you know, again, I don't know if that's something to do with the promoter pushing that little uh, spin-off between John Fury and Deontay Wilder. But um, in any case, it's it's not good. So those are my thoughts on that situation. We just have to wait for the fight now. I hope that Pianetta can come and give Tyson a fight. Um, I hope that he doesn't get caught with anything silly. I hope he can look clean and good and uh, show us the improvements. He says he's going to be a better fighter than he was than the fighter that fought Klitschko. That remains to be seen. And whether he's a better fighter now, again, that remains to be seen. Um, so the proof in the pudding, Tyson, He's in the performance. So I will remain on the fence until we see the end of the Pianetta fight. And I'll again, will be live doing audio commentary for those who can't see the fight. This is BWTM Sports in association with Round for Round Boxing. 
the new boxing game that's in development. Check out the latest developments, www.roundforroundboxing.com. Um, also, BWT and Sports is the official channel for all things Round for Round. So we will have the trailer shortly coming out on the channel. You keep asking. Trailer will be coming shortly. So check it out. And check out the playlist for the fighters already been signed. Um, and also, www.threekingsboxing.com. Check that out for the latest boxing news, latest breaking boxing news from around the world. And check out their Facebook on Three Kings Boxing if you're on Facebook as well. And check us out on Facebook, BWTM Sports um, Boxing uh, Sports Group. Right, I'm out of here. So, uh, you know, um, Lawrence Williams says, I'm concerned with Pionetta's mindset as a fan. Don't like the selfie picture on stage. Well, you know, that's a whole new Tyson um, era where he's smiling and picking people up. He didn't try and pick up Pionetta because Pionetta is a bit of a lump. Um, so on the scales. But, you know, maybe Pionetta, you say he's taking a picture. It might be for his Instagram as well. Who knows? Anyone got is it any, anyone a fan of Pianetta on his on his on his uh, Instagram page? Who knows? Right, I'm out of here. Thanks for watching. We're out.